Yes, what's up guys? We zijn hier in de schaapskooi en we gaan vandaag de sit-down opnemen. Uh, we gaan Jeff Spielman interviewen, we gaan hem beter leren kennen, uh, kijken hoe speler die is, wie zijn favoriete NBA speler is, uh, waar hij vandaan komt. Dus uh, we hopen dat jullie het tof vinden en uh, let's go! Like I just said, we're here with Jet. Jet, welcome. Thanks, thanks for having me. Hey, how are you feeling, man? I'm feeling good. You know, a little tired from practice, but uh, feeling good. No, no problems. Okay, what do you think of the, the Netherlands so far? Uh, well, unfortunately, you know, with the lockdowns, I haven't seen a lot of the Netherlands. Um, but I came last year a couple times to visit. I went to Eindhoven and Amsterdam. It was, it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Dutch people are awesome, super nice and, and welcoming. So it's been a good time, even though we've been locked up. Yeah. How was your welcome here? Do you do you remember? Yeah, yeah. So obviously uh, the day of travel is a whole lot. Um, I had like a 12-hour layover in Copenhagen, so I was I was ready to get here. Okay. Um, I get off the plane, I see Beager there holding a sign with my name, so it is uh, a warm welcome for sure. All right. Well, that's good to hear. Um, you know, have you been able to embrace the Dutch culture? Although we got the lockdown, but. Have you embraced the, the Dutch culture a bit? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, trying to do what we can. We got great teammates who, who kind of tell us, like, uh, you know, learning some words and stuff like that. Um, but again, with the lockdown, it, it's tough to see. But I walked around Nijmegen a decent amount and, and eating some good food. So nice. Yeah. What are some Dutch words that you can already say? Uh, you know, slop lekker is a good one. Yeah. Um, Ex smackler, you know, eat well. Mm -hmm. uh, Hoi is hot, you know, just do. I think do is like the coolest word, a good, a good way to say goodbye, so. Okay. Okay, so let's dive a little deeper into getting to know you uh, as a person. Um, where were you born? Where did you grow up? Yeah, so I was born in Columbus, Ohio. We lived there for about uh, 10, 11 years and we moved about 30 minutes east to a suburb called Granville. Okay. And I uh, lived there the rest of my life thus far. Okay, so so how did you grow up and what type of environment did you grow up? Uh, it was like very, uh, you know, textbook suburb in America, uh, like a big neighborhood. Um, Ohio is kind of like a farming state, so mm -hmm. my parents' house backed up to like a really big woods. Um, and, you know, a couple farms around, so I kind of grew up playing outside a lot. Um, okay. Playing uh, BB guns in the woods with friends and, you know, backyard football and stuff like that. Nice, nice. Um, did basketball come to you naturally? Uh, did you did your family start playing already, or? Yeah, uh, my dad played in high school. Okay. Um, he was always a big basketball fan. Uh, but for me, I was kind of like a late bloomer physically. Um, mm -hmm. it took me a while to grow into my body. Uh, I always loved the game and worked hard. But uh, until you know my junior senior year of high school is when I really started to develop my game, okay. grow into my body a little bit and get a lot better. Okay. Uh, where did you play high school? So I played at Newark Catholic High School. It's okay. a small Catholic school right outside Granville. Um, it's very uh, it's small, there's not a lot of kids there, but it's very into the sports. So we had like a lot of fan support in all our games. Um, we had a really good high school team for being for our small division, so we had a lot of support. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, did you guys get a lot of uh, audience and hype? I mean, nowadays there's just a lot of hype around high school basketball players already. Um, was that when you were playing high school as well? Uh, it depends. Like social media wasn't as big, so you didn't see a lot on Twitter or Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, but my uh, my team senior year, we were number one in the state for most of the year for okay. our division, so we had a lot of fans. Um, I don't think we had any cool Instagram clips or anything like that, but we had a lot of support for sure. All right. Well, that's that's nice. I mean, having those loud fan loud fan base stadiums full. Yeah, absolutely. We had a really small gym, so uh, it kind of felt like the crowd was right on top of you. So if there were you know, 300 students there, it seemed like there was uh, way more. Okay. Super loud. Where did you go after high school? Was there a recruiting uh, process or? 
Yeah, so I had a few schools recruiting me on the Division II level. Mm -hmm. I decided to go to Ashland University uh, okay. for two years. Then after those two years, it just didn't seem like the right fit, so I uh, transferred to Denison University, uh, which is where my best friend played, and it was real close to home. So I was able to, um, you know, my parents were able to come to all the games, and um, through that, I was kind of able to develop my game a little bit more. Okay, and how was the, the college experience? The college experience was great. Um, you know, it, it was different going from a Division II level to Division III. The competition wasn't as good, but I felt like I was able to get like a little bit more like the college experience. And mm -hmm. I met a lot of cool people. Um, and some like the after games with you know your college teammates in the locker room goofing around are you know, some of my favorite memories. Okay. And do you have a specific memory that stands out that you will always carry with you? Yeah. So. Uh, we won the, the league tournament my junior year. Okay. So I remember like coach walking in, everyone spraying in with water. Yeah. And uh, one of our teammates, it's like a small locker room, had like uh, like the big jug of water and poured it on him. <laughs> but then like water got everywhere and like three people like slipped and fell. So it was kind of funny. Okay, we just talked about uh, how you start playing basketball and when, and um, now let's talk about more about you as a player. Um, what position do you play? So I play the four, uh, forward, so I kind of play inside and outside. Okay, and how would you describe your style of play? Um, I try to just do a little bit of everything. Uh, you know, I can shoot the ball really well, I can stretch the floor, I can also play inside, uh, I think I'm a good passer, high IQ player. Um, I try to do what I can on defense. I'm, I'm getting a lot better on defense. Um, so just trying to f further develop my game to be uh, able to do a little bit of everything. Okay. And if you would compare yourself to an NBA player, uh, who would it be? Uh, probably like LeBron James, I would say. Okay. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, but like uh, Laurie Markkinen, he kind of plays inside, outside. Uh, he really gets to the left block and, and yeah. gets to work. So I, I try to. Whenever I need to get a basket, you know, I try to go to the left block and, and, and see what's going to happen. Okay. Um, rather have the game-saving steal slash block or a game-winning shot? Game-winning shot. For yeah. Sure. Why? For sure. I just think like every kid kind of grows up in their backyard, like three, two, one, and True. shoots the shot. And, and so I've had a couple like go-ahead shots where you know it was uh, tied or. We were only up one with like 20 seconds left and hit a big shot, but never like had the buzzer hit one. So okay. I'd like to get one of those for sure. Well, maybe this season uh, yeah. will be nice. Will be nice. Um, do you have a play uh, or a basketball memory, uh, a dunk or a shot that you will always remember? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's really not. I didn't make the play. I was in the game. It was a high school game and it was a tie game uh, against our rival team. Mm -hmm. um, we had the ball out of bounds and. Uh, our point guard was like a really heady player, so they ran a zone and their guy's back was turned to the ball. So mm -hmm. he threw it off his butt, caught it and scored and the time went out and we won the game that way. So Damn. It's, it's a pretty funny way and they were like all upset about it, but I mean, we won the game. So. Well, it, that's a nice way of winning a game though. Yeah, it was hilarious because uh, I was going to set a screen and then I just see him catch the ball and, and score. Okay, um, so looking at current rosters in the NBA, um, what team would you join and why? The Lakers, for sure. I think they're going to win the championship this year. And LeBron's uh, my favorite player, so it'd be cool to be able to play with him. Okay. Um, and who's your favorite NBA player of all time and why? Uh, LeBron James. Um, he's from Ohio, so us uh, Ohio guys got to support each other. True. Um, and I just think like his longevity is great, the way he approaches the game, on and off the court. Like, you never hear anything, anything wrong about him, so he just seems like a class act guy. Okay, you get to pick one ability from an NBA player. Um, for example, Curry's three-point shooting, Kawhi's defense, um, Steve Nash uh, court vision, uh, Zach Levine's jumping ability. What would you pick? Uh, Zach Levine's jumping ability. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I can shoot the ball well. Um, Steph Curry shooting would be cool. And I mean, I've had uh, some dunks in my career, but just to be able to like sky and go between the legs or. Crazy stuff like that would be really nice. Now he's a crazy athlete, though. Yeah, super explosive. Did you think he deserved to win the uh, the dunk contest? That's a toss up. I think I personally thought Aaron Gordon should have won it, but uh, I mean, I don't think you'd go wrong with either pick. It's, it's True. Great. But after that dunk over the mascot, you know, with 
the ball under both legs, I was like, yo, yeah. Aaron Gordon got to win this. And the one that was spinning around, he caught it 360. I was that like, was insane. Yeah. But yeah, Zach Levine's, I mean, free throw line dunk. Um, I saw him do a 360 from the free throw line. I mean, that's yeah. pretty insane. I mean, you could you couldn't go wrong picking either one. True. Uh, either one deserved it, for sure. So, okay, Zach Levine's jumping ability. Yeah. Well, what What is the, the dunk that you would really want to do then? Yeah, that's a good question. I'd want to go uh, be able to go between the legs or from the free throw line. That's either insane. One. Yeah. That's I've crazy. never been able to do either one. Uh, pretty hard, so. <laughs> If I could jump in the free throw line, it'd be pretty cool. Okay, okay, nice. That's a good pick, though. So you've joined uh, Yosh United, uh, a brand new team. Um, we've got some experienced guys and some young guys. What do you think of the team so far? I really like the team. Uh, it's a good mix of personalities. Uh, we kind of feel like a, like a band of misfits sometimes because everyone's got like a unique backstory. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good uh, mix of talent as well. So I, I really enjoy being here and being able to play games and with these guys is awesome. And then off the court, we're laughing and joking around. So it, it's a really good mix. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. Uh, we, we see the chemistry as well. So that's, that's a pretty good thing. Um, what do you think of Coach Matthew so far? I love Coach Matthew. You know, uh, I know he's a young coach and he's really open-minded. Uh, he knows a lot of basketball, but you know, if I ask a question or, or maybe we have a disagreement or something, he's open ear and, and we can have a discussion about it, which is nice. You don't get that with a lot of coaches. Not true. Okay. Um, you guys are one or two right now. Uh, you've had two of the top three teams in the league already. Uh, Donar and Landstede. How was that experience to uh, start the season 0-2 um, against the, the two of the best teams, of course, but uh, what does that to you mentally? Yeah, yeah, I mean, no one wants to start the season 0-2 or lose games, but if we're going to lose two games, but, you know, to the top two teams, it's all right. Um, I think it showed, like, our club and our team, like, the level of play we'd have to play at to be a top team. True. And uh, it kind of started off season uh, on a bang, so it's all right, like, we're going to play the top two teams, we see where we need to go, and then let's just build off that. Yeah. And uh, you guys won the, the last game, of course. Um, how, did, how did that feeling, how did that feel to you guys? It's nice. It's great to get a win. Uh, I mean, for me personally, it was the first basketball game I've won since, since like, last March. So it's a nice feeling to get like a win in the column um, you know, with the COVID lockdowns and everything. So, uh, and it's also something to build on. You know, our first two wins as a club were kind of taken from us with the restart. So it, it's big for the community. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you bring to the team? Uh, I think I bring a lot of things. I think I bring some experience. Um, you know, obviously my, my skill sets on the court helps. But I think off the court, uh, I'm a great teammate. Uh, I try to bring everyone together if everyone's laughing or, or maybe do something goofy. But um, I, I think I just bring an all around game to the team. Okay. Um, let's go back to um, your, your college. Uh, you play college, obviously. Um, was the goal to go to the NBA? Or did you also had a backup plan of playing overseas somewhere? Yeah, yeah. So uh, once I was like a sophomore, junior in high school, and um, playing at U, you play against like some some NBA guys that are in the NBA now, and I realized at that point, like, okay, like these guys are on just a different level. Mm -hmm. um, like I remember playing Julius Randle when I was like 16, oh, yeah. and he was like 6'9", 230. You know, grown man at that age. So I was like, okay, like these guys have something that I don't, which is cool. But um, there was uh, some other guys that played in the same AU program that I played and we're playing overseas so I was like, okay you know that'd be a cool option um, I never really thought about it a lot till the end of senior year um, and I was like you know if I do what I gotta do and continue to get better hopefully I'll have an opportunity yeah um, and I was lucky enough to have some okay uh, what teams did you already play for so uh, my first year I went to Iceland and played mm -hmm. um, it was cool unique experience and, you know, I went to a small school so I didn't really have like a lot of options coming out um, after that, I signed in uh, Pro B Germany. I was only there for like seven, eight weeks until I injured my ankle. I had to come home for surgery. Okay. Uh, rehab for like nine, ten months. And then I was fortunate enough um, to play and uh, get another contract. I didn't know if I would because I was injured. Um, and I, I played at Luxembourg last year. Yeah. So it was a good experience. Like, it's not the best league. Um, but it was able for me to like fully rehab back and, and get back to like my, my normal game and feel comfortable in my body. Again. Okay. And what do you think of? The, the Dutch league so far? The Dutch league is good. Um, it, it's the most competitive league I've played in, uh, which is nice. There's a lot of size. 
and like you said, you know, you have a two to three Euro Cup teams in it any given year. So it's good to see like the level where I want to be at and where yeah. I want to play, and, and know that like okay, like I belong here. Um, and just uh, it's more motivation for me to get better. We got a couple of, uh, of more fun questions. Uh, what's your go-to food when watching a night of sports? Honestly, pizza. I'm a big pizza guy. It's kind of easy. Um, you know, it's relatively cheap sometimes, but uh, you know, it kind of makes me feel like home. Uh, we used to get like pizza as a family, and it was like a big family event. If we were watching a movie or something, mm -hmm. so I get pizza. You know, it kind of reminds me of home. What kind of pizza? I'll go basic. I'll get like some pepperoni or maybe like some mushrooms or something on it. Uh, okay. I'm more about like the crust. If I get a good crust, then I don't really care about the toppings. Yeah, the crust is important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does pineapple go on pizza? I mean, uh, I'm not a fan of pineapple in general, mm -hmm. but Andres, my roommate, eats pineapple on pizza, and uh, he's kind of a big dude, so I don't want to anger him, <laughs> tell him he can't eat it. Uh, but it's not, it's not something I would eat. Okay. Um, what other sports would you play if it wasn't for basketball? I'd probably play football. Uh, I played football growing up. Um, I didn't play in high school just because with basketball is too busy. But I always enjoyed uh, playing football. What position would you play? I played a uh, defensive end. Okay. So you don't tackle the guy with the ball. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be the, the quarterback or? No, it's too much. It's too much pressure. Give me like a simple job and it's like, all right, I, I can go do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, nice. Um, what's your favorite movie? Favorite movie. I have a lot of favorite movies. Uh, I can give you two. Um, Series-wise, Star Wars and Lord of the Rings, for sure. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, I love Troy, um, but The Trojan War is one of my favorites. If it's on TV, anytime I gotta watch it. Mm, okay. And uh, what's your favorite show? TV show, uh, Game of Thrones, for sure. It's That's a good series. pick. Yeah. That's a good pick. Um, what song can be left out on your playlist? Oh, it depends on the mood. Honestly, I think if it's uh, if it's a game day, dreams and nightmares by Meek Mill, mm -hmm. always gets me excited. Um, yeah, it depends on the mood, though. Okay, but that's the song that you that would hype you up for game day. Yeah, for sure. Okay, well, the listeners gotta add it to their playlist then. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll get everyone going. Who's the most underrated artist? Underrated artist, I think uh, he's kind of like an electronic guy, S.G. Lewis. Uh, me and my roommate Austin listen to him all the time. Okay. Uh, he's good, he's got a lot of hits, but I feel like not a lot of people know about him. Um, but he's got, you know, every song he produces is great, I think. So okay. Check him out. I will, I will. Uh, most underrated NBA player? It's a tough question. I think uh, Ben Simmons. I think mm. he takes a, a lot of heat for not being able to shoot the ball. Um, True. Which, I mean, obviously you can improve at that, but at the same time, like, He's elite at everything else. He's a great passer. He gets to the rim. He rebounds, and he's a really good defender. So. Yeah, he's a big size as well. Yeah, he's huge. He's like 6'10". He's well built. So I think he's just people don't appreciate him because they see Steph Curry and they're like, "Well, everyone has to be able to shoot the ball like that." True. But, you know, he still dominates the game. Yeah, I I wish. I, I mean, I hope he gets a, a good three-point shot because that will make his game pretty much unstoppable. Yeah, or even like a mid-range. Like if he could shoot a mid-range pull out, that help. So he could hesitate, get to the rim, or just you know pull up at 15 feet. Yeah, especially with Embiid also in that team. I mean, that's that'd be lethal. Yeah, you gotta space him out somehow. Um, who's your favorite actor? Uh, favorite actor is Brad Pitt for sure. Um, I, just, I don't think he does any bad movies. Uh, he's in Troy. The movie True. I said. Yeah. He plays Achilles in that, so I think he's kind of funny, and uh, you know, it's Brad Pitt. So okay. Um, and what is a quote you live by? Oh man, that's a tough one. I think um, there's a Star Wars quote um, by Yoda, do or do not, there is no try. Mm -hmm. I just kind of think like in life, like, I'm just like, oh, try this, try that. But it's kind of like, all right, I'm more of a, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And if not, if not, but um, I'll give it 110%. So. Okay. Um, Jet, I'd like to thank you for joining the sit down. Um, would you like to say something uh, to the fans? Uh, just thanks for your support. Uh, yeah, we know you guys can't be in the stands, but it's nice that you guys uh, probably stream the games and, and fans from afar. So, appreciate it. All right. Thank you very much, man. Awesome. Thanks, man.